Hello YouTube. I just wanted to give you a quick video about air quality and how to filter out smoke particles in your home. One easy way to do that is to get a high quality uh, filter that goes in your furnace or your AC unit. Right now there's a lot of wildfires creating hazardous and poor air quality in the western United States. And I'm in Utah and we've had quite a few wildfires and not only wildfires locally but also smoke has blown into Utah from California from the major wildfires that are happening there. These high quality uh, 3M, they're made by 3M, these these filtreat, I think that's how you pronounce it, <laughs> air filters uh, say they can even filter out, filter out smoke. See it says smoke right there. Not just the smoke that from people smoking but also smoke, the, uh, the smoke that's in the air. So it's not quite as good as a HEPA filter. HEPA filters are good at cleaning out pollutants in the air, but this will make a significant difference if you close your windows and run your air conditioning in the summertime through your central AC, if you have central AC like I do. Getting a high quality furnace filter can make a huge difference in filtering out smoke. And if you notice here, it says to replace, it says airflow guaranteed to last up to three months. But that's, you gotta be really careful you don't go past three months. And so I'll show you a picture of one of my filters that. Uh, after it's been in here for three months, it gets almost pretty clogged to the point where you can affect uh, the health of your central air unit. You don't want to damage your air conditioning unit and get ice buildup and reduce efficiency and you're going to have to pay a much higher electricity bill and maybe a repair bill if you don't switch your furnace filter frequently. This is another point of this video is to remind you, you need to change these furnace filters out frequently especially if you have a dog. We have a big dog in our home. We have a big 90 pound Bernese mountain dog that sheds a lot and so some of his hairs get sucked into the AC system and get caught in the filter. And also when you're running it a lot in the middle, we've had a hot summer where it's been 90 degrees for weeks. It's been in the 90s. We had a cold spell a few days ago but it's been a long summer of really hot temperatures so the air conditioning has been running a lot. And so in those conditions, when it's really cold or really hot and you're running your, your furnace system constantly, uh, then you're going to have to make sure you replace this frequently. Sometimes even less, it might not last a full three months. You might even want to go two months or two and a half months and then check it. And if it's looking significantly clogged, you're going to want to change it sooner than three months. Because you don't want to have it so clogged that it puts a huge strain on your, your HVAC system, your furnace and your air conditioner is going to have problems and more likely to get damaged and get ice build up uh, with, the, with the central air if you leave a clogged filter in place. Now these, these 3M filters are the, the, the expensive ones that work quite well to filter out all these things. Um, but they're more expensive and so if you live in an area where you have good high air quality and you don't have smokers in the home, you don't have lung problems, then you can maybe get away with one that's not quite as expensive. Like this one from Home Depot still filters out a, quite a bit. It's better than the uh, the fiberglass filters. There's the really basic cheap fiberglass filters that are super cheap. They're not going to filter out any kind of dust except for what's going to cause damage to the AC system. But even this basic one from Home Depot that's not expensive can filter out quite a bit of dust. Um, but right now, if you're in the middle of wildfire season and there's poor air quality outside like there has been, I think it's a good idea for the health of you and your family to get one of these higher quality 3M filters and just make sure you change it frequently enough that you're not going to do damage to your HVAC system. So I just wanted to make that video just to remind you, if you live in an area with, with poor air quality, it's worth getting a high quality uh, air filter and then also worthwhile to change it frequently. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the like button. Oh, and by the way, it's also so it's so easy to replace the air filter. Um, some furnaces are more difficult than others, but mine is quite easy. Let me show you how it works here. So my furnace is running right now, and I can come, and in my furnace I have a switch here. I can just flip it off like that, and now it's off. So you, you can't hear it running anymore, right? Mine also has a safety switch, so when you pull the cover off, it'll automatically turn off. So even if I weren't, even if I didn't flip that off, it would also turn off on its own. So I just lift down here and kind of pull it up and out of the way and your furnace might be a little different everyone is a little bit different but it's not that hard to figure out how to replace the furnace filter and it's a simple easy thing you should do on a regular basis 
set a reminder on your phone, or if you have a smart uh, thermostat, you can set reminders on your thermostat. We have a Nest thermostat that reminds me when to replace the filter, but I also have a reminder on my th on my phone, right down on my calendar, when I should check the furnace filter to replace it. You can see right here is the automatic switch, so anytime the cover's on, it will leave, leave it on, but if you pull the cover off, then it automatically shuts off the system. So you can see right here, I replaced this furnace filter just recently, so I'll pull it out and show you, but it's not very dirty because I just I just recently replaced it like a, a week or two ago. So I'm gonna pull out this. But we do have a dog, like I said, so you see there's a little bit of a little bit of dog hair there. This is nothing because like I said, it's only been on there for about a week or two, but I can see a little bit of smoke dust, a little bit of slight yellowish color to it from there's been smoke in the air. Uh, and just dust in the house and a little bit of dog hair, but not too bad. I'm going to put this back in and leave it there for another couple months. It's September now, so in Utah, typically in September, we don't have to run the air conditioning as much because the temperatures will cool down and it gets to be really nice. And so I'll probably be able to leave this furnace filter in place for at least three months now, um, it, probably till December. Um, September, October, November, December. So yeah, probably sometime in December when it's in the middle of the winter and it's cold and we're running the heater all the time is when I'll replace this one. So you can see that just straps back in place there and it's held firmly against that. And also you'll notice that these are directional airflow circulation. So you want to, the air to flow in that direction where the arrow is pointing. And you can see it on this one as well. It says airflow and make sure the air is being pulled in the right direction so the filter works like it's supposed to. So easy to do. Make sure you do it. Otherwise, replacing a furnace or replacing a central air is so expensive. It's thousands of dollars. We replaced our central air conditioner when the compressor died. This isn't a home, a home that was built in the 90s and it was original to the house. It was a 30-year-old air conditioner system that died. Even replacing just the air conditioner portion of it and not the furnace was still thousands of dollars. So save yourself the money. Replace your furnace filter frequently. If you have poor air quality or smoke due to wildfires that are happening right now, then get a high quality one that can filter out some smoke and keep the air quality higher in your home so you don't have lung or heart problems for your family. So thanks for watching. So also just a reminder that you want to make sure you buy the right size of furnace filter. So when you're shopping for one, mine happens to be 16 by 25 by one inch. So you need to measure yours or, or take out the old furnace filter. It will have the, the measurement on there for you so you can make sure you get the right size. You can look and see this is an old one that's been used I need to throw away but you can see that on this side over here it's not dusty because it's that was that part isn't where the air was flowing through but over here you can see it's kind of gray and black where the dust is accumulated so I've seen them get much more dirty than this but this is just an example of holding it up to the light here so you can see the the dirt through it there so that side's a little bit more clean and you can see the other side is gray where it's accumulated all the dust and debris so definitely does its job to help filter out the air in your home you can also run HEPA filters if this if the air quality is super terrible sometimes they advise you to turn off your furnace or your central AC so there's no airflow in your home at all and just seal up your doors with tape or things like that but I think if you have really good high furnace a good high quality furnace air filter along with a HEPA filter and things like that can help reduce the pollutants in your indoor air uh, significantly.